Imagine a world where tooth decay is a thing of the past. No more fillings, no more drills, no more pain. What if your teeth could repair themselves, just like your skin heals a cut? Welcome to Medical Miracle. Today, we're diving into CRISPR enamel repair. Could this be the end of tooth decay? If you're tired of dental woes, stick around because this could change everything. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more medical breakthroughs. Let's start with the basics. Tooth decay, or dental caries, is one of the most common health issues on the planet. According to global estimates, about 2.4 billion adults and nearly 500 million children suffer from it. It's caused by acids produced by bacteria in plaque that erode the tooth's outer layer, enamel. Enamel is the hardest substance in your body, made mostly of hydroxyapatite, a mineral of calcium and phosphate. But here's the catch. Unlike bones or skin, enamel has no living cells. Once it's damaged, it doesn't regenerate naturally. That leads to cavities, sensitivity, infections, and even tooth loss. Why is this such a big deal? Well, poor oral health links to heart disease, diabetes, and more. Traditional treatments like fillings or crowns are band-aids. They don't restore the original structure and often need replacing. But what if we could fix enamel at its root? Enter the world of regenerative dentistry. Enamel forms during tooth development thanks to special cells called amyloblasts. These cells secrete proteins that guide the crystallization of minerals into that tough protective layer. But after your teeth erupt, amyloblasts die off, leaving enamel defenseless against acids from sugary foods, sodas, and poor hygiene. Under a microscope, healthy enamel looks like tightly packed rods of crystals. When decay hits, those rods break down, creating pits. Fluoride helps remineralize early damage, but it's limited. For deeper issues, we need something revolutionary. Look at these amyloblast cells. They're the architects of enamel. Scientists are now trying to bring them back to life, so to speak, using advanced tech. CRISPR, short for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats, is a gene editing tool that's like molecular scissors. Discovered from bacteria's immune system, it allows precise cuts, insertions, or modifications to DNA. Since its breakthrough in 2012, CRISPR has revolutionized medicine, from treating genetic diseases to engineering crops. In dentistry, CRISPR targets genes to reprogram cells. For enamel, it's used to study and fix defects, like in amalogenesis imperfecta, a genetic disorder where enamel forms poorly. By knocking out or editing genes like DLX3, researchers understand how enamel fails and how to repair it. But the real magic is combining CRISPR with stem cells to create induced amyloblasts, or IAMs, that can secrete enamel proteins again. Let's look at the latest research as of 2025. At the University of Washington, Dr. Hanele Ruhola Baker's lab is leading the charge. In a protocol published in STAR Protocols in 2024, they detailed how to generate 3D-induced early amyloblasts from stem cells using serum-free media and growth factors. But in April 2025, they dropped a bombshell on BioRxiv a designed soluble notch agonist that drives human amyloblast maturation for tooth regeneration. This synthetic molecule activates the notch pathway, maturing IM organoids without needing neighboring dentin cells. They created tooth organoids that produce enamel proteins, a first for human stem cells. Dr. Ruhola Baker envisions living fillings that grow into and repair cavities. Co-culturing these IAMs with dental pulp stem cells leads to even more mature tissues. Other teams are advancing too. At Zhejiang University, a 1999 gel-like solution regenerates up to 2.8 micrometers of enamel in 48 hours. By 2025, it's being refined for clinical use, 
just drop it on damaged areas. Then there's the UW peptide lozenge from 2021, rebuilding 2 to 5 micrometers daily. And UT Health's hydroxyapatite toothpaste outperforms fluoride for remineralization. Beyond enamel, broader regen, Japanese scientists drug blocks USAG1 to grow new teeth. Trials underway, available by 2030. At Tufts, bioengineered teeth in pigs using human pig cells. Even sheep wool keratin forms enamel-like coatings. These aren't just lab tricks, they're steps towards clinical trials. CRISPR helps by editing stem cells to enhance these processes, like knocking out faulty genes for better maturation. Of course, challenges remain. Achieving thick, durable enamel layers is tough. Natural enamel is 50 to 100 micrometers, and current regens are thinner. Integrating with dentin, avoiding off-target CRISPR edits, and ensuring safety are key. These are somatic edits, not heritable, but ethics demand caution. Timeline? Lozenges and gels could hit markets in 5 to 10 years. Full CRISPR therapies? 10 to 20 years, with trials ramping up. As of September 2025, no commercial CRISPR enamel repair yet, but momentum is huge. Think Phase 1 trial soon. Costs might start high, but accessibility will improve. And remember, this won't eliminate bacteria. Prevention is still vital. Until then, protect your enamel. Limit sugars and acids. Rinse after meals. Use fluoride or hydroxyapatite toothpaste. Brush softly twice daily. Chew xylitol gum for saliva boost. Eat cheese to neutralize acids. And see your dentist regularly. CRISPR enamel repair could truly end tooth decay, ushering in a new era of dental health. What do you think? Excited or skeptical? Comment below. If you enjoyed this, smash that like button, subscribe to Medical Miracle for more medical breakthroughs, and share with someone who hates the dentist. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy, stay miraculous.